Welcome to the 72 Review. Today we're at a very windy valley to check out the Charlton fans who are protesting today. Spell it out for the 2%. It's a campaign they've got today. Stand up for the 2%. We'll test today, second to third minute. There's been some real grave concerns about the running of the club for, for a little while now. And in a, in a recent meeting with fans, the CEO suggested that there, there were 2% of fans that were um, dissatisfied with the running of the club. And it's basically a campaign to try and show that that's a little bit misguided. We're not just crying to your fans. And we can't believe what we're seeing at the moment. How can you piss off your, your fan base, and particularly your major fan base, which is your elderly people? They're not interested in our views anymore. There is no, no other problem with Charlton apart from what's going on behind the scenes. It's more than 2%. This 2% business is rubbish. I don't think people necessarily want the guy out. It's about communicating with the fans, you know, how the team's going to improve, how the club's going to progress, really. A couple of years ago, we were like a, you know, a power football club. We had a, an English man well-respected in the game. Like Chris Power is a proper football man with a load of players that you can kind of connect to. You don't feel that now. Um, there's been a real influx of foreign imports that haven't been up to scratch, really, and you don't feel like they're playing for the shirt as much as your Johnny Jacksons of this world. The youngsters have been sold for years, but now they're going, when they're so young, they're getting their money for them. to the Valley out today, brand new today. Forgetting about the results and thinking about the long-term future of this club. She says she wants to be a, champ a competitive championship side with Premier League ambitions is her little mantra. We see nothing to suggest that that's the case. My boyfriend set up the campaign, he's 18, I'm 18. We're all young and older, unhappy with it, so yeah, we need to change it. It's not just about results. I mean, this is this is off the back of two wins in a row. The fan base here has a real, real history of, you know, shaping the club really, and it's sad to see them so disregarded. So we're in the Valley match about to start, and uh, two minutes in, we're going to have the protest for the two percent protest. didn't it? Yeah, the protest 100%, really pleased with that. The feedback from those watching the Sky cameras was that uh, there was a picture of Patrick Meyer looking fairly sheepish, so at least hopefully the message got across. I would have liked to have seen a few more people on their feet, um, but uh, in all in all, I think it went well. And they you know, changed the manager every five minutes, it's kind of like there's no continuity and it's just, um, you know, the fans at the club deserve a lot more. Do you think they'll really take note of the fans after seeing something like this? If he's got any sense, he will, because we're the lifeline of the club, aren't we? We're the blood of the club, you know. Without the fans, he's not got a club. To be honest, when we're winning games at the moment, it still doesn't feel like the same Charlton winning games in the past, and it doesn't even hit me that much when we lose games at the moment because I'm so disillusioned by the whole thing. Game over at Charlton, but the protest, spell it out for the 2%, actually went really well. The organisers were really happy, fans got behind it. We're in the north stand back here. Up the bottom, they all stood up. At the top, they all stood up, and they all chanted because they knew exactly what they wanted. Result didn't go according to plan either. And so there's a lot of things that are going to happen that Charlton's got to change. They want their club back. Fans don't feel happy. They don't feel connected to the club. Owners got to listen to them. We'll see how it goes from there. Thanks for watching the 72 Review, covering the football leagues from the fans' point of view. We want you to get involved, so subscribe and also comment down below.